It isn't what you don't know that gets you in trouble. It's what you know for sure that just isn't so. That line by Mark Twain, I'm gonna put it right here for you, is what this video is all about. What you do know that just isn't so. I got a request on my previous video to talk about overcoming limiting beliefs. And if you haven't watched that video, it's all about how I drew into existence my future. Take a peek at that one and then come back to watch this one. But I wanted to address overcoming limiting beliefs because it is a huge one. So let's get into it. The first thing we need to do is address what are your limiting beliefs? Do you know what they are? That's why in my manifestation technique video, I put on one side of the page, your present state. And the present state is where you're currently at. And I like to put in there little bubbles that say, what's holding you back? What are those limiting beliefs? Whether that's, I am not enough. I don't have the skills. I don't have the education, the, the background to apply for that job. I don't have the attractiveness to go after that person. I don't have this, I don't have that. Whatever is on your mind, I want you to put that on the present side of that manifestation page because those are your limiting beliefs. Those are what are holding you back. That is your story. And your story in your head is exactly what Mark Twain is saying, is that is what you are so certain on that just isn't so. It's not real. Is it fact that you don't have the background to apply for that job? Have they ever not hired someone without your background? Is it fact that you're not attractive and can't go after the person you want? No, it's all in here. It's what you've been led to believe from your upbringing, from childhood trauma, from whatever it is. What I want you to do first is to name it. They say name it to tame it. Know what those limiting beliefs are and write those down. And then the next thing I want you to do, which is in the manifestation technique, is to put your future state, your future situation, what you do want. And you are gonna put the reverse of what your limiting beliefs are. If you are lacking in money, you can barely pay your rent, pay your mortgage, you're gonna put, I am limitless. And I want you to always put, I am, because I am affirmations are the most powerful. And when you draw your future picture and you add that color, that vibrancy, you are putting in the little bubbles, I am abundant. I make 7,000 a month. I live by the beach. So I want to take it a step back for a minute and really give you the bigger picture behind your limiting beliefs and give you a image that helps describe what's going on. I am repeating this from someone named Anita Morgiani. I read her book, Dying to Be Me, and I highly recommend it. So she gives the example of being in a pitch black warehouse. You're walking around and you have this little tiny flashlight with a little tiny beam that is shining this little beam of light all over this massive, vast black warehouse. And the warehouse is your life. It's your possibilities. And this, this little beam of light is what you can see. There is limitless, boundless possibilities out there. And what she says is that she was going about life with this little beam and just seeing this or that, and you can kind of shine a light and tie one thing to another, and you can, you know, get little glimpses of how to connect the dots and what is possible. But she says that you need to turn on the lights. <laughs> she says that when you have this epiphany, this thought of my stories aren't real, my limiting beliefs aren't real, there's so much more potential inside me. It's like flipping on the lights in that warehouse and not needing that flashlight anymore. Your beam of light is now the entire room. You can see it all and you can feel it all and it's all available to you. You just need to believe it. And this is why the 
drawing manifestation technique is so powerful is because if you can draw it, it's like turning on that light switch in that warehouse in your mind, in your body, in your soul, in your spirit. You're dropping that flashlight because you see what's possible. And that is the, the powerful thing that I want to share with you is naming your limiting beliefs so you are aware of what they are, putting it pen to paper, and then writing the complete opposite. And then once you get that visual down, which I said in my other video is drawing your future, adding color, vibrancy, it doesn't end there. You can close that journal, have it by your bedside and open it every so often and look at that photo. But from that moment on, I want you to believe it. I say fake it till you make it because it works. You want to get into that state where you are delusional. Really, you're delusional. You believe what's possible. And the manifestation technique that really works with reprogramming your subconscious mind, rewiring your brain, is really saying these I am affirmations when you're in a theta brainwave state. And that is usually right as you're drifting off to bed at night. It's first thing in the morning when you wake up. And these are the most special moments to where you can really reprogram. And Joe Dispenza talks about this all the time. That's why he says your morning routine is so important. If you're opening up social media right away, you're opening up your email, you're looking at your bank account and you're solidifying these thoughts first thing in the morning that are just replaying over and over again, adding to that story that you're playing in your head about yourself. We're stopping that. That is why I'm off social media. We're, we're stopping that story right in its tracks. One tip I like is um, there are tons of reprogramming your subconscious mind videos on YouTube. I'll put a couple below that I like, but I love to just drift off to bed listening to them because that is when it will work the most. And there's a tip Mel Robbins has where you can wake up in the morning. Um, she likes to look in the mirror. You can say some affirmations, but also just like high five yourself. That's a good one. Um, someone else said to look in your eyes in the morning and say, I love you. I love you 10 times over. That's a good one. I've tried them all. Once you get the hang of it, the world is your oyster. I'm working on this still. It's not something that, you know, the lights switch on in the warehouse and it's game over, I'm getting everything. Of course, things are always going to take effort and time. And But I wanna relay to you that it's possible. The possibilities are endless. You can take back the control. I love you guys. Please share anything that's worked for you in the comments. I love to hear from you and I wish you all the best.